Hey you guys, hope you're having a good Thursday. Sorry I'm a little behind, but explained in the video. But if you wanna see how we did this beautiful look using new complexion products, we're gonna be using this baby right here, the brand new NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, the Maybelline 30 Hour Foundation, as well as some e.l.f. Putty Blush and Bronzer to see how we got this beautiful look, how they were, how my first impressions were, were they good, were they bad? Then keep on watching. Hey you guys, it feels like it's been such a long time not being on here. I'm sorry for my MIA like about a week ago. I don't know if you guys remember on my Instagram, I posted that my face was like super swollen. It's going down a lot. I had to get some dental work done. I chipped a tooth and it got really bad. So back in action, I couldn't put makeup on it all that whole week. It was miserable because the dentist couldn't like fit me in forever. So back in action, finally able to put some makeup on. And then the last few days, I was super nauseous. Usually when the weather changes, I feel crappy. So I don't know if you guys experience that, but it is awful. But now I am back. I'm super excited. We have a lot of stuff coming up, you guys. So much stuff. And I got a few more requests for different things. So I'm so excited. But today we're going to do nice something easy, simple, but fun. We're going to do all newer complexion products. Super excited. So we're going to be playing with this found... The cap is on wrong because <laughs> I opened it. The Maybelline... 30 hour foundation. Now I am very intrigued by this. I saw another YouTuber wearing this and it looked really nice. Now this is a matte formula. So I don't usually go for matte formulas anymore, but it didn't look super matte. It had a little bit of a glow. So I'm hoping that this will be good, but it's full coverage. I'm super excited. We're also going to be trying out. I grabbed three different shades because they didn't have fair. So I went with the lightest ones. These are the brand new NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serums. I'm so excited. I got the shades beige, uh, light, which is probably going to be my under eye uh, one, and then vanilla. They didn't have fair. I wish they did. And they were sold out on like Ulta forever. So when I saw these at Target, I'm like, I'm snagging them. So we're going to try those out. We're also going to try, I've never, ever tried the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and Blush. So we'll be playing with that today as well. And then, yeah, the only other thing is a newer powder that I've been using, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Banana. And I'll let you know my thoughts on this. So let's get started. I'm super excited. I didn't prime my face yet. I'm going to go with primers that I know are going to work. You guys know I always start off with the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Primer Water. I've been trying to find the Cucumber one because I think that's my favorite. But this is the Coconut one. And it's brand new. <laughs> Just get a nice spritz on your face. This really has helped a lot, especially if you have dry skin. This really does help really just seal all the primer and stuff and all your skincare in previous. So this is really, really good. I never used to use a primer water, but now it's a routine. I have to put a primer water on before I put my primers on. And I also have learned that before my primer water, I always put a moisturizer on before going in with any primers or makeup because Especially with winter here, if you guys have even oily skin, you can get dry in the winter time. You have to make sure you put moisturizer beyond, before you put on your makeup because even right before you put on your makeup, it just helps the makeup like, you know, for a longer time and look better. So I'm going to go with primers that I already know work, which is the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer right here. And also the Joa Pore Deactivator. You can find this at CVS. And I'm just going to put some lip balm on because these lips are chapped as heck. <laughs> And I love these Laneige lip balms. They, they have the sleep masks, but these are for like the daytime use. This is so good. This one's the berry one. I also have the gummy bear one and it's so good. You can find these at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls for a good deal. So I'm just putting this on. I don't know about you guys, but my lips get like super chapped when it gets cold. And this is just perfect. It's not sticky because sometimes the sleeping mask can be a little bit too heavy and feel sticky. This doesn't feel sticky. It's a little bit lighter of a version of it, but it smells the same and it's amazing. So let's get this primer going. What I start off with, I start off with a mattifying pore primer where my large pores are. Now I have dry skin, but I have large pores in this area, my T-zone of course. So I like to put a pore minimizing primer first. That's what the Joa one looks like. It's clear. It's very um, silicone-like. And it has a tea tree smell. I think it has tea tree in it. Yeah, tea tree extract. So it has a slight scent of tea tree, but this works really, really well at getting those pores not looking so visible, which is really important, especially if you have a large pores like me. 
But you guys, I have missed you guys. I'm so sorry I haven't been on here. I feel like it's been so long. It really hasn't, but it feels like forever. But we have so much stuff coming up. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about it. Let me get this primer on. And then I like to tap, especially in the areas where my pores are large. Just tap, tap, tap. How have you guys been? Are you ready for the holidays? I know I'm not, not yet. <laughs> Getting there. I started early this year, but still not as early as I wanted. I'm gonna put on the hydrating primer in the outer perimeter. I sometimes spread it on my cheeks as well, but this one is a really good one. I haven't tried the Milk Hydro Grip yet. I'm gonna try that and we'll see if this is a dupe for it. I've heard it is, but I just rub this in my hands and then go right around where it's dry. And yes, you can put it on to the other primer, but I like to put the hydrating one on top. That way it doesn't, really doesn't stop the pore minimizing primer from not working as well. So we're just putting that on. But yeah, you guys, if you have dry skin, try putting a moisturizer on, not just in your skincare routine, putting it on right before you're about to do your makeup because it does make a world of difference. Oh, I got like a hair. My cat like sheds like crazy. It's crazy. Okay, now that we got our primers on, let's start with that foundation. Sorry guys, it's like driving me nuts. I'm super excited. Like I said, it is a matte finish. It's um, It says seamless matte finish, it's oil free, full coverage, light as air feel, and I got mine in medium beige, and it says up to 30 hour wear. So we're gonna see if this is gonna work. Of course, I would never wear my makeup for 30 hours. But sometimes I do fall asleep and I don't know if you guys do too, but I know I do, but let's see how this works. I like that it is a pump. Let's see how she looks. I put three pumps because I just want you guys to be able to see the texture. It's pretty much like every other foundation. It's not super liquidy either. It has a little bit of like a moosiness to it looks like. Really nice. So we're gonna do one side with a sponge, one side with a brush. We're gonna start with the brush first. I'm just gonna grab this Ulta foundation brush and tap it on and let's see how it goes. Let's see, ooh. Now, you guys, I don't know if you have the same issue I do. Shade matching, especially when you're purchasing online. Like, I am terrible. And I'm learning that I am going too light with my foundations. A lot of the foundations when I first started makeup, or even up to about, like, I don't know, a year ago, I was going through them. We have to do a declutter soon because I've been looking at my stuff and I don't use half of it because it's either expired or it's not my shade or whatever but like they're way too light. I used to go so light with my foundation and now I'm learning that I'm more of like, like a light, light medium kind, kind of skin tone. So I've been trying to get better with my shade matching, especially when you're purchasing online. It's very hard to do. Those pictures don't always give it like justice. That's a really nice coverage. Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to get my forehead here. This is, see how I mean? It's not super matte, it has a nice glow, especially if you put a moisturizer and like a hydrating primer on underneath, it's not gonna make you look super dried out. So I think this is gonna be really nice and I heard it lasts really well. So maybe for science purposes, I will sleep in my makeup one time. Shh, I know it's bad, but I wanna see how good it lasts. Through all the tossing and the turning, I will do it for the sake of YouTube. <laughs> That looks really, really good with a brush. Let's see if we get anything different with a sponge. So I still have that much left. So I'm just taking a Real Techniques. It feels still damp. Now I always try to like wring out my sponges because you don't want them too damp because it will move product around, especially if you go in with a like, if it's a little more wet on the tip or something of the sponge, you go to go under your under eye and set your concealer. Oh, that's happened to me so many times in the past. It's so frustrating. And then you have to start that spot over and it's a pain. So I like to use a paper towel and just wring this out really well. So I'm just doing this. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, I was so nervous that this was going to be super matte, but it's pretty nice. Okay, so it looks like the brush gives a better coverage than with the sponge, as you guys can see. Give us a better coverage with a brush. It's still not bad though. It's more of like a medium coverage, but with the brush, it's more full. 
but I really like how this is sitting on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. I'm just gonna add some more, you guys. We're just trying it out for the first time, so. I'm gonna pile it on and see if it layers well. Ooh, there we go. I have to have, like with all the redness, because I've been like not feeling well lately, I haven't been eating right and not drinking enough water and all that fun stuff. So my rosacea and my skin are kind of unhappy with me right now. They're like, what did you do to me? <laughs> so that's why you're seeing excessive redness on my face right now. But I want you guys to see how it looks on skin that has redness, that has texture. That's important. So this is what we're looking like. Okay, I'm just gonna do my forehead. So I do like how it applies with a brush. You use less product and you get a really nice full coverage with that. With the sponge, you're gonna have to use a little bit more product to get your desired full coverage effect. But still really nice, very good. I like how it's sitting on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey, even though I put quite a bit on this side to build it up. I'm just gonna tap this around my neck, of course to make sure it is blended. I'm excited for those concealers, you guys. I have been trying to hunt those down forever, forever. And me and um, Kai were at Target and I spotted them and I'm like, oh my gosh, there they are. And I'm like, I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it. I have to show everybody. Cause I know a lot of people are wondering about that and I couldn't help you guys then, but now I can show you. So I'm liking this so far. This looks really, really nice. Ooh, I can't wait to see how good it lasts. Like, I'm excited. All right, let's get some of that concealer on. Now, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you each shade. That way you guys can see. And let me just wipe off my hand of any excess foundation here so it doesn't ruin the swatches. So let's start with beige. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm so excited. Now, it doesn't have a doe foot. The only obstacle, it does have a pump, but let's see how it goes. So this one's beige, right like there. That's a good color. If you wanna cover up, a, if you have my skin tone, you wanna cover up any blemishes. So that's beige. Ooh, I'm throwing things. Let's do vanilla next. So this is vanilla. Got this, let's see. So I'm gonna put vanilla right here. Come out, buddy. So it's a little bit lighter. You can see and then we're gonna do light let's see how light looks so this was looking the lightest in the bunch through the packaging but let's see so that's light right here so actually these are very similar this one's a little bit lighter but this is actually really nice especially in the winter when I'm not have any color to me at all that'll be perfect but Super excited about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, for purposes, we're going to use beige, and I'm just gonna go around here, and then we will use, um, I think we're gonna use light under my eyes. So let's do that. Let me wipe this off so I don't get it everywhere. I'm excited about this. I heard this was really, really nice. It blends out really nice, so let's see how good it does, shall we? So we have light right there. Let me grab beige. Here we go. So I'm just gonna put this in little areas as if I were to cover up a blemish or if I didn't have enough coverage around the nose area because I have a lot of redness on my nose. So let's see here. I'm just gonna grab, don't wanna use that, why not? I'm just gonna use this Complex Culture Concealer Brush. And I'm just gonna, ooh, it definitely, once you're applying it, it feels wet just like a serum it feels a lot more liquidy than a concealer would, which is weird because it doesn't look like very liquidy when you first pull it out of the, t the packaging. Now it's gonna look a little funny. I This is just to learn how these look, but look at that. Ooh, that looks really, really nice. We're gonna definitely be able to tell under the eyes. I just wanted to see how it does with coverage around any areas with redness. This brush is kind of stiff. <laughs> I've never used this brush before. It's kind of, kind of stiff, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna put this on my nose because I have a lot of redness there because I have been very bad at taking care of myself. <laughs> Meaning not eating right and drinking enough water just because I wasn't feeling well, I'm like, eh. 
couldn't even drink coffee. It was like forever. It felt like forever. Getting right in here with this. It feels so weird though. You don't think it would feel this liquidy when you put it on your skin, but it does, but it doesn't look like it's liquidy. It looks like a regular concealer, which is great. I'm just going to tap that out a little bit, blend it out, and then we're going to go and we'll definitely be able to tell more with the under eye area. But I like that. Let's see how it does under the eyes. That is really nice. It blended really, really nicely, smooth. There's no issues. It doesn't look like it's caking up with the foundation. Even though it was a full coverage foundation, it doesn't look all caked up, which is great. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror, you guys. <laughs> okay, I saw like a little spot that was like weird. I was like, I gotta fix that. <laughs> All right, let's go to light now. So we're gonna grab light and I'm just gonna, I still have extra. Oops, I'm wasting it here, Katie, come on. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of light down, put two pumps, that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna go in with this brush right here. This is just the BH Cosmetics Concealer Brush. And we're gonna go right in the inner corner. It's so weird. Uh, on initial application, it feels like you're putting water. It feels like you're putting water on your skin. It's the weirdest thing. Now, I like a very full coverage under eye, so you don't have to use as much as me, of course, because, you know, I like a nice, bam, bright, full coverage under eye, but you don't have to put this much. Everybody likes to use the amount that they like. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it around. It spreads around very nicely, very, very, very easily. Let's see how the coverage is though. So before I keep going, I'm going to go in with this because I wanna see if it dries quickly or not. So we're just gonna start. And I like to start on the bottom half of where I applied this, and then I'm gonna go into the inner corner. All right, let's see how we do. It definitely has a nice brightening effect, if you can see, this is not full coverage. So if you like a more full coverage, we'll try to build it, but this is more of like medium-ish coverage. Yeah, about medium. Now let's do the other side. It's not bad though. It's really pretty. It looks pretty on the skin. Like it looks like a nice healthy glow on your under eye. It's not super matte, has a glow to it. As you can see, as I shift around, you can see the nice glow, which is great because sometimes it, the matte formulas just dry out my already dried out under eye. You know, if you have dry under eyes, then you don't want super matte products all the time. This is actually really pretty. See how bright it just brightened my inner corner? Ooh, all right, let's try to build it a little bit. Let's see if she builds well. And I am so excited. We're gonna do some fun holiday looks. We have some Black Friday stuff that just came in. Fortunately, a few things did get damaged in two of my orders, so we're gonna have to wait on those. I'm so sad, but the the businesses were amazing. Their customer service was incredible. They're sending me out replacements, so we will be getting them on the channel. I'm so excited. I'll give you some hints. They are brands that I have been dying to try for a while, just haven't had the chance. They are, a couple of them are, because <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I've been working on. Kimchi, so excited, and Lunar Beauty. I'll give you those hints for now. So freaking excited. So excited. All right, let's tap all this out. Let's see how the under eye does. Bringing it up, this helps you not get a little bit of a lift. That way you don't wanna drag it down, you don't wanna drag it across. You kinda wanna use your sponge and veer up the concealer to your temple area. Okay, so it does build, which is great. As you can see, it gives a little bit more coverage now than it did before, which is nice. And it doesn't look like it's caking up. That brightness, though, it looks so beautiful. I think this would be perfect for, like, no makeup days if you need to brighten up your dark circles or something like that. I think this would be beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'd reach for this. I'm doing full, like, glam. I might use it first and then add a little bit more full coverage right under the under eye. 
but it's very pretty. I'm not saying it's not pretty. It's very pretty. It's very lightweight. It brightens up where you want it to brighten up, which is nice. And it blends out very, very easily. As you guys can see, very easily. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the other one, which was vanilla, just cause why not use them all, right? Why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and I'm gonna go here. These feel so nice going on, it's so weird. I know, that I look crazy, sorry. It's just for learning how these go. Okay, I'm just gonna use my sponge and brighten up that T-zone area. Oh, I like this though. I might have to finagle with it and see how it does with like a full glam look. I don't know, we'll see. I am gonna apply more makeup and tell you how everything blends on top of it and stuff off camera we will after we do like the putty blush and stuff because I want you guys to see how it looks all together but so far I like that it's, it's different than what I'm used to because it's not full full coverage but it did build up to a much better coverage than what it was initially and it's not creasing very bad usually I have very deep set creases with concealer this isn't doing that wow I'm excited about this very excited all right, so the fun time, we're gonna play with the e.l.f. Putty Blush and Bronzer. I've never used them before. Let me know if you guys have, if you like them. I'm so excited, I heard such good things. This is the Putty Bronzer. I got the shade Honey Drip, looks just like that. And this one was so hard to find too. They have the blushes at like Walmart, Target. This I had to find at Ulta. And they're having a good deal. I think it's still on where it's 20% off things. So go check that out. I think it ends right before Christmas. So if you want a good deal, go check out Ulta. I think Sephora's having it too, to be honest. But this is what it looks like. Super cool. I'm so excited. I don't even know what to expect though. And then we have this beautiful bronzer. So pretty. So let's grab a brush. I'm just using my Yensa. Um, it's kind of like similar to this but it's Yensa's brand of bronzer just a cream bronzer I'd say so let's try this shall we oh it's so weird you have to warm it up a little bit I'm scared I'm gonna put too much <laughs> let's start here okay see some color going on feels weird because it feels like really hard to put your brush in but let's see Ooh, pigment Okay, interesting. Now this is a brand new package of it, so it might have to like, you know, get warmed up a little bit. That is pretty. Just adding it a little bit at a time because I don't want to overdo it. Ooh, it gives like um, like a sun-kissed look, just like the Yensa one as I love the Yensa one. This is really nice. This was only $6. That's really pretty. Okay, let's... Ooh, okay, see, now that I warmed it up, I barely had to put any pressure into the actual container. And now you get this beautiful, like, sun kiss. Of course, I'm going to blend it out more. I'm just laying out the product first. Ooh. I love cream products and stuff like this. I never used to use them. Let me know if you guys use them now because they're so nice. Like, I don't know why I had a fear of them before. I don't know if you guys had that too. A fear of using cream products. I don't know. I never used to. And now I'm like, ooh, I gotta have it. <laughs> that is really nice. It's very easy to blend, which is great. I'm just gonna use my sponge to make sure there's no harsh lines. Yeah, let me know if you guys have tried the putty bronzer or blush. I haven't even tried, <clears throat> I haven't even tried the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer yet. I know that's like a holy grail to a lot of people, like a cult favorite. I need to try that. I don't know why I haven't tried that yet. I've tried the luminous one and that's okay. It's not like my favorite to be honest with you guys, but that's pretty. Look, it gives you a nice bronzed effect. That's super beautiful super pretty and I like to build it up a little bit this builds up so nicely and it doesn't like leave you looking muddy I hate when products make you look super muddy this looks just beautiful and sun-kissed and nice tan area when you don't have to use fake tan 
I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I just don't do that. I don't have time for it, you guys, to keep up with it, so. This is nice. For six bucks, this is definitely really nice, you guys. If you have not tried this, go try it. They have um, different shades as well. This was like a medium shade, I think it was. I didn't grab the lightest shade because I kind of like to go darker with my bronzer. This was so easy to apply. It's very beautiful. I really enjoy this. I'm just going to put a little bit under here. And usually I have to use um, two different colors to get the effect that I want. With this, I like how it is as is. So this is really, really nice. I'm excited about this. And I'm just literally tapping very gently. I'm not putting much pressure to blend this out. This is very, very nice. I'm very excited about this. I cannot wait to use it more. But I'm most excited for that blush. If it's anything like this bronzer, I'm excited. So the uh, putty blush that I got was Turks and Caicos. I love that beautiful corally orange color. I think it's gorgeous. I used to use a lot of pinks in my blush, like use a lot of pink blushes, but now I've been trying to gear towards other beautiful colors. And this is infused with argan oil and vitamin E. Is the primer as well, or is the, is the bronzer? Yep, the bronzer and the blush are infused with argan oil and vitamin E. Yep, it's supposed to give a sun-kissed effect with the bronzer, non-greasy. It is definitely not greasy. Um, buildable formula, absolutely. Semi-matte, which is great. You still have a healthy glow, but not looking overly oily. This is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm excited for this. So freaking excited. It's packaging though, like, jeez, can't get into it. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this one says. This one says, lightweight but buildable putty to powder blush. Ooh, putty to powder, that's great. Blends seamlessly into skin infused with argan oil and vitamin E. This silky smooth buildable formula will give you a flushed from within glow. Ooh. And this is what she looks like. So beautiful. I'm so excited to get into this. Okay. So now that we got our bronzer, our putty bronzer on, just tapping this out. So far, you guys, like this whole day has been great products so far. I'm very excited. I'm just going to use my brush that I always use for cream, like liquid blush kind of products just washed it <laughs> and same thing with the bronzer you kind of gotta work it at first but after you get it going I think it's good look at that pretty color very light at first but let's get some more on the brush now it's not supposed to be bam I don't think I think it's just be a nice sunlit sun kissed effect look at that color that is so pretty Ooh. You guys, you've got to try this. Like, this is so beautiful. And now that I got, like, the top layer, it's very easy. You don't have to barely put any pressure into the actual container to get this color. That is gorgeous. And it doesn't look greasy. It just looks like a nice, healthy glow. This is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Why haven't I tried these sooner? What is wrong with me, you guys? <laughs> this is very pretty. Very, And you can keep it light or you can build it up whatever you prefer oh yes i am very happy we'll have to try out some more colors i know they had really dark colors i'm wondering how they would look i've seen a lot of my skin tone wear them and it looks gorgeous i just am scared <laughs> like i think it was maldives and bali those are beautiful colors i'm just scared that it'll be too much pigment for me but so we might give it a try because this was also only six bucks to get this beautiful color and glow yes yes please <laughs> all right you guys so i think so far these products are amazing but the test is wearing them and the test is how do they do with other products going on top of them sorry i can't stop it's so pretty <laughs> but this is really beautiful they're so easy to work with they're so easy to blend they're buildable and they give you that beautiful natural glow from within so you're not looking super matte. Yes. Yes, please. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go finish up my... Oh, let's do the powder really quick. This is not brand new. I've been testing it out. I've been using 
This, I have, I just started recently using this. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I really like this for my under eye. This is really pretty. This is in fair light. And then I also try the CoverGirl True Blend in Banana, and this one I use all over my face, and this one works really nice. I don't like to use this one right under my eye. It's a little too yellow, a little bit yellow. I mean, I can pull it off, but I'm gonna keep this bright as possible with this beautiful concealer. I really like, it. look at that. Bright, love it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this. This is only like five bucks at Target. Like this is such a good powder and such a good deal. And they have so many different shades, it's amazing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my sponge Make sure there's no creases. This helps to like get the powder really in there and not use too much powder at the same time. Because what I was doing a while ago was putting way too much powder in my under eye and since I have dry under eyes, it really creased really badly. So we're not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take, take, tap it down my nose as well. But it keeps it nice and bright. That's what I like. See how it keeps it nice and bright. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Make sure you get all those creases out first if you have any, and then go in there with your sponge and your powder. And very lightly just tap it around where you wanna keep it bright. I even do my nose. Can do around your mouth and then your forehead right where your t-zone is just like that and it's gonna look a little crazy at first but that's because you haven't powdered the rest yet so then you're gonna go and take this powder right here and this powder is actually really really nice it comes a little puff I don't use the puff let's move the puff here and I like to put it right into the cap Oof. <laughs> Lots of powder. Okay, and then you're just gonna take a powder brush, just like this, and I use the tiniest amount now because otherwise I look super dry. And I do also set my neck as well. You don't, if you don't have to set, you don't have to, but if I don't, I look, I get uh, creasing more often, I notice. So I'm just doing a very light layer very light layer of this and this just really helps set it it doesn't get rid of the glow which i like because why would i want to get rid of the glow that i wanted to put there in the first place so a very nice light layer of this just helps set it into place which is great make sure to tap it off so you're not getting too much powder and bada bing bada boom all right yeah i really like these powders for different purposes I still have my glow, so I like to use this powder for my face, which is the CoverGirl, and then the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder for my under eye. It just, I get the best results that way, so give those a try. They're very good, and they don't make you look super dry if you use a nice light layer. All right, you guys, so that is it for now. I'm gonna go finish up my makeup, and then we will see how everything blends on top. I will be back in a few seconds. All right, you guys, so I finished putting on the rest of my makeup and I have some thoughts. So these are my first impressions of the products that we used. We're gonna start with the first thing that we tried, which was the Maybelline 30 Hour Super Stay Active Wear Foundation in the shade Medium Beige 129. I really like this so far. I like how it's not super, super matte. It still has a nice, healthy glow to it. It really is beautiful, full coverage foundation that really blends really easily. And things like concealer, the bronzer, the blush, they all went on there effortlessly. There was no issues. There was no cracking, moving around, anything like that. This was really easy to use. And the one thing I noticed is that be even before I set it with the powder, I just didn't say it the first time around, was it felt set already. Like it didn't feel super sticky or anything. So I wonder if I don't use powder one time with this, how it will go. So I will definitely try that and let you guys know a final update. But so far, I really, really like this. If you like a semi-matte foundation that is full coverage, that'll last you a long time, this is a really good try. And it's newer onto the Maybelline line. And it's supposed to be really good with um, 
um, transfer resistance. So we are definitely going to try that. I am patting it and I don't get any transfer on my hands, which is great, but I will definitely do a final thoughts on this after I use it several times. But so far, I really, really like this. Even if you are a dewy girl like I am, give this a try. Just put on some moisturizer before you put this on. This is really, really nice. The next thing are the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serums. I was a little skeptical when I first put it on and saw the coverage level, but I actually really like these. They are beautiful under the eyes. And as you can see, it brightens that up so well. I didn't put any brightening powder under my eyes at all. All I did was put some setting powder. These are really, really nice. And they are a medium buildable coverage, which is great. But the interesting thing about these is they don't feel like regular like concealer going on your skin. It feels like water or a watery serum, which is really cool. That's why it's a concealer serum. But when you take it out of the package, it doesn't look like that. It just looks like a normal consistency concealer. So I really do like these. I think they're beautiful under the eye. I think they're really good at covering things up, especially with blemishes. I'm going to try that and keep you updated. But these are really, really nice so far. I will definitely be using them a lot more because I think they're really pretty. And we will take it from there. But if you're willing to try this, I think it's a go for, I think it was like 10 bucks and they're really, really nice. And yes, you don't get a doe foot, but that way you can be a little bit more precise with a brush applying it onto the under eye, which is really nice. So really like these, but my favorites are definitely the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and e.l.f. Putty Blush. These are amazing, you guys. Like they're so pretty. They're so easy to use. Yes, when you first open it, you have to kind of warm it up a little bit because the top is, you know, brand spanking new. But once you do, you barely have to put any pressure into the pot to get product. And it really does blend out beautifully. It gives you this nice sun-kissed glow and tanned look without all the effort and without looking muddy, which is absolutely incredible. So I do love this. And I absolutely love the blush. The blush is beautiful. I got the Turks and Caicos. Oh, this was Honey honey drip I believe and this one is um Turks and Caicos I'm definitely gonna try more um colors because these are beautiful they're pigmented they're gorgeous but they don't look super like clown like because they have that beautiful blendability very very pretty these were definitely my favorite products of the night to try they are just so easy to use so beautiful super affordable definitely love these so yeah everything I like today you guys I'm so happy between the concealer the foundation everything blended well on top of each other everything turned out beautifully and I still have a nice glowy look to my face and of course the powders I didn't these aren't like my first impressions on these I already knew I kind of like these this is only like five bucks at Target and it's really, really beautiful under the eye. It doesn't make it dark. It doesn't like, you know, make it dark, very dark. And then you look like you're gray under your eye. It just sets it really beautifully. And then this one is really good for an all over the face setting powder. I wouldn't use it under my under eye if you're my skin tone or lighter because it might have that yellow um, cast you don't want. So very pretty. And this doesn't leave a flash, which is beautiful. It doesn't leave that white cast underneath your eyes, which is great. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. We have a lot coming up. If you like beauty, if you like makeup, anything like that, please like and subscribe. We would greatly appreciate to have you here. And we have Luna Beauty coming up. We have Kimchi coming up. We have some holiday looks because it's December. It is time to get some Christmas looks up, right? So that'll be happening soon as well as skincare. And we need, um, someone requested a hair video. So we'll be doing a hair growth video. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Have you tried the serum? Have you tried the bronzers and stuff like that? Let me know in your thoughts on them. And I will be seeing you very soon. Hope you have a good night and stay safe out there.